choice. Look who it is. Hey, how are you doing, guys? My name is Nucci, and uh, we're gonna play a uh, pretty new uh, card game that is called Hearthstone, and is available at Battle.net. I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is only the beta, but I've gotten so so addicted to this game. And as you can see, I've unlocked all the heroes that you can unlock. You have to beat someone with that hero to unlock it. But anyway, my first thought when I saw this game, I was like, a card game on the computer, really? Can it get worse? Can it get more boring? But when I actually gave it a chance and started playing it, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And yeah, if you haven't seen this game before, I will try to explain as much as I can possibly uh, manage to do. Um, uh, I don't think I will have time to explain everything, but I'll try to explain as much as I can. So as so you can see there, I replaced that card because it has had a pretty high value of mana. And what these numbers does with the blue thing here, you have to have that amount of mana to bring that card out. So right now I can't bring out any card, uh, only this card I can bring out actually. So, what that does, it gives me one extra mana, and then I will bring out... I don't think I really need to bring out a minion, so I think I'll gain an empty mana crystal right there. So next time, uh, when it's my turn, I will actually have three mana, because you gain one mana each round. Or each turn, I should say. So now he brought out a minion with one attack and one health. And why he got to attack immediately is because that card had... Uh, charge on it. So I think I will use this one, my dwarf, and then I get to attack anyone with one damage. There we go. So I broke his card immediately. I'm playing as the hero uh, druid right now, and I would say that is actually my favorite card. No, not card, I said that twice. Uh, I would say it's my actually my favorite hero to play as. I don't know why, but I think it's the best one. I don't know. It maybe doesn't matter which one you play as, but oh, this is good. I think I'll bring out this one, which allows me to draw another card, and then I'm gonna bring out this one that I got now, which will allow me to summon another uh, one of those, but with less attack points, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. So I will attack his hero, and then I will end that turn. So the main goal with this game is to bring down your opponent's hero down to zero health. And uh, it's a very strategy-based card game, which probably every single card game is, but you have to think uh, really smart and uh, be careful, careful, careful with your moves. Uh, so now he froze all my cards, which means that I can't use them at all. I can't attack or anything. But um, I think I will actually... I will use my taunt card. And a taunt card is a card that has this shield around it. And what a taunt card means, it means that he has to attack this card. Um, or pretty much he has to kill this card before he can attack any other of my cards or my hero. So that is the good thing about the, the taunt card. It's like a defense card, you could say. And yeah, what to do? Decide. Make your move. Okay, that had a... Whoa. Why he got to attack is because every time he brings out another minion, that one gets to shoot one attack point or whatever. And now he used his hero power. So, yeah, he brought down my taunt, but at least I brought down him. And he's bringing me down to pretty low health right now. So I think I will bring out... First of all, I will bring out this one, which will allow me to give plus one an attack for every single person. And I think I will strike it down with this one. And then I will strike down this magma... whatever, <laughs> with that one. And then I will strike his hero. And what do I do now? I think I will actually... Wait, I can use that one. And
and then I can use this one, which will give me three in uh, attack points and three in armor. Maybe I'm, I'm <laughs> it, maybe I'm sounding really, really stupid when I'm trying to explain anything, but I don't. It's pretty hard to explain uh, when you pretty much know the game yourself easily enough, but. When I'm trying to explain to you guys, I'm trying to do it as best as I can for people who haven't seen this game to understand. But if you don't understand and have a question or something that you're wondering, don't be afraid to ask. Just leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'll use this card actually to deal with his hero. It will damage him 5 points, which is pretty good. And then I gotta draw another card. And... Then I will use this card, which will allow me to give one plus in health for uh, a random minion in my party each uh, end of the rounds or turns. Uh, I don't know which. I gotta attack that one. I gotta save this one because he has a little bit more attack points. And then we can end that turn. Now it's going pretty good. So let's see what he, what kind of move he makes. Now he's got in a lot of mana, so he might have a better card up his sleeve. Ah, that was a great move. What that card did, it was... It damaged one point, or health point, to all my minions. And now he brought out a taunt card. Oh, he brought a doctor. That, that card allows him to heal any of his uh, friendly allies with two points. Hmm, so now I have a taunt card, but I think I will use... Oh, I can't decide. I think I will use first this one, which will allow me to heal my cards. And then I will actually give... Um, I will give taunt and health to my dwarf. So now I can pretty much attack his bear without dying but um, I don't know he might attack with all of his minions on my dwarf before going on my hero well he has to but it is pretty much he can't he must at, uh, attack he must kill my dwarf before uh, killing any other one Let's see what he brings out. Ah, what that card does, it's special ability is that it deals 3 damage immediately to your hero. So that's a pretty good card. But I don't understand why isn't he attacking with his minions. There we go. Now I kill his. Now I kill that. Oh, so he attacked with his bear. That was a pretty smart move, but he lost 2 cards and... That is a pretty good one. It will deal 2 damage immediately. Um, so, I guess a smart thing would be to attack his taunt card. Bam! And then I will attack his hero. And then I will bring out uh, a taunt card. There we go. So now it's pretty even, but I think I might win this one. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that I will win this one. I gotta win this one for you guys. Um I've got a huge Ouch! He had one of those himself. Himself. Um but he still gotta get through my Ah oh, that is a great card. You see what he did there? He transformed my card into a sheep, which makes it worth less and he only has one attack point and one health point. But at least I can attack that one with my sheep, so it will be some kind of use. And that one gains plus one in attack and health for each uh, minion that I have out on the field. So I'm gonna me I'm gonna strike out that one, and then I'm gonna hit his hero. So right now it's looking pretty good. I have a taunt card. I have a strong card. And he can't attack uh, this one 
Frostwolf Warlord until he has broken down my taunt card. So <laughs> I'm just making sure that you understand that. So there's no one like, oh, I still don't understand what taunt card does. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Maybe you're thinking I'm pretty smart. I really already understand this. I've played this game, blah, blah, blah. But maybe some of you guys, or one of you, I don't know, don't understand. So whatever. That was not good that he froze my uh, frost wolf. So now this could end up any way. It could go either way, I mean. Oh shit. I really have to strike down that frost thingy, whatever it is. Frost elemental. Oh shit. Well, the good thing with my gnome is that it damages two when it dies. So that is a great card with low mana. Well, thank you. That was a pretty bad mistake of him, in my opinion. Oh, great! I damaged three of his health. And then I can damage him again. So, I would say I have a pretty good advantage here, unless he brings out an amazing card. And that is the mistake, or... What do you say? The bad thing of having low on cards. Ah, shit, he brought out a top card. You want to have as many cards as possible on your hand every single turn. Luckily, he only he doesn't have any cards on his hand either. So, but if he would have like three, four cards, I would be at a huge disadvantage. Okay, so now I'll give that one plus one in attack and plus in health, and then I have I actually have to attack that one. Otherwise, I can't get through. It's going slow, but I'm getting there. And unless I haven't explained it, what this does, my hero power, it gains... It gives my hero one attack... Uh, plus one attack for the round. Oh, he gave up. He or she gave up. So I won that one. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much uh, Hearthstone. It's this a fantastic card game. Don't underestimate it. <laughs> Don't underestimate it. Uh, it is a fantastic card game which I love and I got so addicted to. To sometimes I pronounce words really wrong, but whatever. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little gameplay of uh, Hearthstone. And uh, I don't know. Leave a comment if you have any questions or want to see more of uh, Hearthstone. I don't know what you thought about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing it, whatever you think about it. Um, so, yeah, leave a comment what you thought about it. Click the like button if you enjoyed, and uh, click the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I love your support, and all of you guys. So, yeah, thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.